Hello, and welcome to the tutorial on the Venus Control Suite Web Editor app. In this video, you'll learn how to utilize the Web Editor app to create new presentations, open up existing presentations, and navigate the different areas on the Web Editor. From your launch pad, click on the Web Editor app. On the left side of the screen, you'll see your subsections. You can open up this sidebar by clicking the three lines in the top left corner. By default, we're brought to the presentation section, which is going to show us a list of all of the presentations that were created within the web editor. If you click on the media subsection, that will take you to the media library. This will also show you your web editor presentations, along with any images and or videos uploaded into Venus Control Suite. Check out our video on the Media Library for more information. From the presentation screen, you can either click on any of your existing presentations to open them up and make changes, or click on Add New to create a new presentation. When creating a new presentation, you'll want to give it a name and select the size of your display from the drop-down list. Then click on Continue. Once you click continue, you're given a blank canvas. This is a representation of your display and its proportions. You can change the background color from the right hand side. You can add in text boxes. You can add in images or videos that are located in your media library. You can add in date, time, or temperature, as well as set up a countdown for a specific date and or time. You'll also notice that there's individual tabs up in the top right corner. The Properties tab is going to give you all of the properties for whichever element you have selected. If you have an image or video selected, you can change the Fit mode to Stretch to Fill or Scale to Fit. Scale to Fit is going to make sure that it keeps its proportions no matter what size it is. The position section will show you the width and height of your element, as well as how many pixels it's offset from the left side and the top. You can also toggle on or off snap elements. If snap elements is toggled on, as you're dragging your elements to the sides of your canvas, they will snap into place. Properties for text boxes is going to allow you to change the text for your message Just like with images and videos, you can also change the position for your message, including snapping elements to the edges of your canvas. You'll also be given different font options. You can change the font you are using, the size of the font, bold, italicize, or underline your text, change the text color, justify text on the left, the right, the top, or the bottom of your canvas, you can add a drop shadow or an outline behind your text. You can increase or decrease the spacing between your lines of text. And you can make sure that your font looks smooth on your display. The data tab is going to allow you to add in any data sources that you've created or the easy drop weather feature. Data sources and the easy drop weather feature are both covered in separate videos. The Elements tab is going to show you all of the individual elements you have in your presentation. This includes any text boxes, date, time, temperature, or countdown fields, as well as images and videos. From here, you can lock any of those elements in place so they won't be able to be moved around or deleted. The eyeball icon will temporarily hide that element. The two pieces of paper icon will duplicate that element and the trash bin icon will delete it. From the Slides tab, you can add multiple slides to a single presentation by clicking on Add Slide to create a new slide, or clicking the two pieces of paper next to a previously existing slide to duplicate it. You can also modify the length of each slide from here. Of course, once you're done creating your presentation, Always remember to save it, then you're ready to add that presentation to a playlist and send it out to your Dactronics display.